I want you to be reminded how much God loves you and how much God really, really, really cares. I'm here to declare to you that God loves you, that God is for you, and that there is an open door, there's an open way to come back to Him. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all of that heart. God does not want bits and pieces of you. He wants all of you. God's going to begin to put you, give you answers. He'll visit you personally in His presence and the fullness of joy. And get in the presence of God and find out what's going to be ready at all times. Walk circumspectly. No walk is food. They're here to do what God is saying. And He said, if they will seek my faith, not a word, but an answer. Amen. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I guess I'm going to say good morning. I'm going to say happy new year and also just be blessed today. Amen. And happy Valentine's Day. So I'm covering all of it. Amen. And I just want to welcome you to do the right thing. Do the right thing can be seen every Sunday morning by the Bell Global Network on Comcast Channel 20, 8 o'clock. Amen. Tune in while you're getting ready to go to work. I mean, well, some of you do work on Sundays while you're getting ready to go to work, getting ready to go to church, or just getting up to get on the line and you need a, something to hear. I just want to say tune in and be blessed. Amen. I was sitting this morning, do the right thing, is do the right thing, and my ministry is God's way. Hers is house of comfort. And I was thinking about that. Okay, you do the right thing, and doing the right thing means that you're going to do it God's way. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And you can never go wrong doing it the way he said to do it. And before we get started, we're going to open up with prayer. And today, I got my little sidekick with me. <laughs> Amen. Pastor Cheryl Lord. And I'm going to ask you to open us up with prayer today. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Well, Father God, we just thank you, Father God, for this time of um, ministry. And Father God, we just pray for all of us, the listeners, the teachers, uh, and that you be amongst us, God, and that you give us a word, God. You give us a word. You give us something, Father God, that we can use, Father God, to feel better, to get out of our uh, uncomfortable uh, situations, to feel strengthened, to have peace, to relieve fear. We just thank you right now, God, for what what you going to do in this session in Jesus name we pray amen amen and amen uh, we were sitting here and we were looking at one another and we were asking you know okay what did God give you what did God give? and we just started to talking and I said it looks like we really have in a sense the direction that the Holy Spirit wants to take us in and uh, we were in a prayer group I'm gonna put it that way and in this prayer group the anointing began to come in and the Holy Spirit began to really to speak to me because we are definitely at first I just began to hear warfare warfare and yes we are when you look around we are definitely in a war amen and when you look across the waters and you see Putin you know and they with the tanks and everything we can all see the natural warfare but the God wants us as Christians as his people, warfare is something different. We don't view the world like the world views the world. For us, a lot of things can be stopped. A lot of things can be avoided. But we as Christians actually don't realize this is not flesh and blood that we are fighting against. That this is a spiritual war that we are in. And God is calling us to get into position in this time and in this season and to prepare ourselves. And right now I'm talking to leaders. Leaders, God is saying, prepare your people for warfare. We don't hear about travail. We don't hear about true intercession where you get down and you're crying and you're moaning out to God. We don't hear that anymore. Where we are bringing to birth. There are a lot of things that need to be brought to birth that's still in the womb because they don't know how to get into position and they don't know how to bring forth what God has placed in on the inside of us. And one of the main things he uses is fear. He uses our fear. He uses our, our ignorance. 
of spiritual things. Because when we get down to pray, and sometimes the presence of the Lord come upon us so heavy, and rather than push, we draw back. Mm -hmm. Rather than push it out, we draw back because the enemy deceives us and tells us, okay, now you're going too far now. You're getting into something that you don't know, and you begin to draw back. And God is saying, now is not the time to draw back, but now is the time as never before to push. There are dreams, there are visions that need to be born, that's just laying dormant. And God is saying, no, leaders, leaders, get up and begin to teach your people. Our job is to teach, to train, and to equip. Not to just 24 hours around the clock every time we come together, preach at them. Teach how to operate the word. Teach deliverance. Show me how to do it so that when I go out, I will be equipped and I'll know what I am doing. Amen. And I'm going to ask, I'm going to let you take it up. <laughs> well, amen. Um, amen. Apostle Shirley, I just love how the Holy Spirit just give, uh, you know, it's one spirit. Yes. I just love how the Holy Spirit just get, puts us in the same vein, you know. Yes. And I was thinking this morning, Lord, what is it that you want to share with your people? And he gave me this scripture um, that comes out of 1 John <clears throat> 2 and 20. Um, and it says, but... You have an anointing mm -hmm. by the Holy Spirit. And that anointing, Pastor Shirley, is in us. Yes. We talked about uh, the leaders um, uh, equipping the people. We have to know who we are first. We have to know that we have been given, mm -hmm. every believer has been given the anointing by the Holy One. Amen. Amen. And if we don't know that, it has to be stirred up. Yes, it yes. has to be fed with the word of God. Mm -hmm. It has to be activated. And that's what I believe your meaning is mm -hmm. that we have to make sure that these gifts are activated. And what are the gifts for? The yes. gifts are for to be used in the body of Christ. That's it's right. to do something. Yes. It's to do yes. something for God. Yes. He says on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. And what that means is everything that's going on in heaven, yes. the Lord wants to do it right Amen. here on that's earth. Right. Amen. So and he does that through his ecclesia. He does that through the body of Christ. Now, leaders, we have a responsibility yes, to be apostolic in nature, to mm -hmm. be prophetic in mm -hmm. nature. And apostolic means that there's some old traditional ways that need yes. to be torn mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. so that we can build it up God's That's way, right. so that we can build it up according to how heaven wants his kingdom to be here on earth. And we have the voice, mm -hmm. Apostle Shirley, through the prophetic, Prophetic word of having our ear to heaven and we are ambassadors to say what God's will is in this earth. And so we have authority is what I'm trying to say. Yes. And some of us don't even know we have authority. No. Some of us are still like uh, in these pity parties. Mm -hmm. You know, some mm -hmm. of us are waiting for other people to pray for us. Mm -hmm. Some of us are still waiting for somebody to lay hands on ourselves instead of you can lay hands on yourself you. and be healed. And so Apostle Shirley, that authority... Mm -hmm. You know, we have authority. We're in authority, under authority through That's Christ it. Jesus. That's and we want the body of Christ to know where we stand or what we have been given and how powerful That's we right. are and to begin to use it in this time That's with right. all the chaos. Don't you know we could pray some things down? We can pray some de things down. We could pray the devil out of our families. We can yeah. have the authority to do that. And I'm all riled up. I'm going to turn it back to you because <laughs> I'm I'm really Amen. excited about about this. Amen. Um, I am too. I really yeah. am. And one of the things the Holy Spirit was ministering to me, even when we were at, God is a God of order. 
I want you to understand yeah. that. And when you say God's way, that means he has an order of how he wants everything done. And if we follow those directions yeah. and we follow those instructions, yeah. we are going to see results. And like she said, the Lord, as I sat there, the Lord said, Shirley, but you are women under in authority, under authority. Mm -hmm. Use your authority. I've yes. given you authority, he said, over all the powers of the enemy. Yes. God did. He gave us authority. Yes. And we are to walk in that authority. What he did, he said, greater works yes. will you do. Mm -hmm. Amen. But like she just said, if you don't know that you are a woman, a man, or whoever under authority, you are not going to put yourself out there. You're going to continue to draw back. And, you know, I was just saying, you look at uh, through the Bible, mm -hmm. all through the Bible. And one of the things I'm going to tell you about when we were in, we were in prayer. And I'm talking about order because mm -hmm. I really, we got to get this. If God asks, um, if you go somewhere and they ask you to pray, whatever they ask you to do. Say, for instance, they ask you, say, okay, uh, Pastor Cheryl, I want you to pray over the offering. They didn't ask you to pray over the mother's board and the church board and all of that. Pray over the offering. We don't know how to follow directions or instructions because rebellion is not only in the land. Rebellion is in the church. And we are in rebellion. Honor those who have rule, who have authority over you. And when I honor her, I'm honoring God. When she honors me, she's honoring God. And pray for your leaders instead of sitting back talking about yes. them and running them down. Remember who we are. The sons of Sceva. Mm -hmm. They thought they could just get out here and do what, <laughs> what the disciples did. Okay, we're going to do that too. And they were... Realize there's a difference in operating in the flesh and in operating in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that we are operating in the spirit. If I ask you to pray for, uh, uh, say, Minister Bell, pray for him. He's not feeling good today. Pray. He didn't say pray for the mother, the father, the sister, the brother. Look. Let me... <laughs> This thing is really, really, really bothering me because we are missing so many opportunities for people to be healed, delivered, and set free because we don't know who we are. Mm -hmm. We don't know who we are. And if you don't know who you mm -hmm. are, you will be all over the place. Yeah. And God is saying, listen, he only spoke the word. He didn't mm -hmm. pray the Bible. He didn't start in Genesis and wind up in Revelation. And we do that. And I'm going to tell you another scripture. What came, kept coming to me. He said, look at the, uh, the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. They were known for their long prayers. Yeah. Don't be like that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we feel the longer we pray and the more we raise our voice, that shows that we have authority. No. The centurion, when he came to Jesus and wanted him to pray for him, he said, uh-uh, you don't even have to go. All you got to do is send the word. Send the word. He had more faith mm -hmm. than some of us sitting up in yeah. the church. Mm -hmm. More faith. He trusted. Yeah. He had, but you know, he said, because I'm a man yeah. in authority, under authority. I say go, they go. They I go. say come, they come. Mm -hmm. He understood authority. Mm -hmm. And we have to understand the authority that we are walking in. Mm -hmm. Because God is requiring that we got to live in that authority. Yeah. That you know beyond a shadow of a doubt. That when I speak, it's not surely speaking. I'm, it's but by the spirit mm -hmm. of the true and living God. But mm -hmm. if you don't know, you will allow fear to come in and rob you of what God not only has for you, but what he has for the people that he wants to send you to. I'm going to let you take it. And, you know, we're talking about authority, and we have it. That's it. Because we have the anointing That's when it. we accept Christ. That's it. Um, but are we using it? Nope. Are we using the authority? Um, how it can be activated is through holiness. Yes. 
how it can be activated mm -hmm. is through righteousness. You see, the more we do it God's way, the more we're righteous and the more we mm -hmm. lean on the word of God and the more we are uh, obedient or submitted mm -hmm. to the word of God, we begin to be filled up. The anointing in us began to be stirred up. That's right. And the anointing in us uh, 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 is a reflection mm -hmm. of the character of Christ and it began to emit out of us. See, it's mm -hmm. not a natural That's thing. Right. It's a supernatural thing that the Lord wants to utilize because it's in us. And wherever we go, the anointing goes with us. But it's not activated because it doesn't have the power. It needs the power from the word of God and from the obedience to God. And it needs the power because we're holy. You know, when we're holy, God will just give us his, he's already given us everything. Yes. When we're holy, we show God that he can trust us. When we're holy, because we know he's faithful, mm -hmm. he's faithful in everything. And so we're appealing to you today, take back your authority. Take back your authority. You have given your authority away. Just like in the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve gave their authority to the enemy. When they began to listen to him. And he made them doubt God. You know. by He, he suggested that they doubt God I'm saying take back your authority because you have it and you take that back by getting close to God submitting to his word speaking his word decreeing mm -hmm. his word pray, you know doing the yes. spiritual stuff I'm talking about doing the spiritual stuff. I'm talking about where you done lost your na your yes. natural self. Mm -hmm. And you done gone to a different realm right. in the spirit. You done That's gone right. up to heaven, but your body's still here on earth mm -hmm. because of your prayers. Yes. Because of your decrees. Because you're praying in the spirit. Yes. Because of your worship. Yes, we right. got a chance to see a worship uh, on Tuesday on the prayer line, mm -hmm. it took us from the yes. natural plane all yes. the way up to heaven. And we yes. heard God talk. Yes. And we heard God move. And we sensed his spirit. Yes. And we sensed his anointing. And he began to prophesy. I'm talking about that kind of authority that you get. From being holy. That you get from being righteous. That you yes. get from being submitted to God. You can't get it by your works. You can't get it by trying to pantomime the word of God. Or you can't get it by trying to do what somebody else does. Because he already has the plan, the purpose, the gifting, the power already in you. Take back your authority. Amen. And that authority. What we are just saying. Take charge. Yeah. That's what we're saying. Take charge. We are, have lost charge of everything. Yes. And that is not the will of God. Take charge of your house. Yeah. Yes. Stop allowing the devil to dictate to you and tell you this is how it's going to be. And then you come into agreement with that lie. Mm -hmm. But it's time to rise up, take charge over your family, take charge over your business, take charge. Yes. I just heard a, a young lady's uh, testimony, not too long, um, matter of fact, day before yesterday, I think it was. And she was just, didn't know, she was at her wit's end. She didn't know what to do. And she said, I need some prayer. I drive the school bus. And she said, those children on that bus are so bad. I'm thinking about even uh, uh, leaving my job. Mm -hmm. And she was just saying, mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. What do I do? Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, authority rose yes. up in me. <laughs> I said, baby, take authority. I said, you might have to get up a little bit earlier. But get up <laughs> early. Anoint yes. those uh, benches on that bus. Begin to walk through that bus. Yes. And begin to tell the devil, you are a liar and the truth is not in you. And I'm taking authority over you. I disallow you to use these children. Yes. I said, baby, don't allow. Yes. You got the 
Jesus in you. Yes. Don't allow the devil to run you out of anywhere. If you go, you run him out. He's not supposed to run you out. Yeah. I'm gonna leave my job on my own terms, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not because you yeah. Yeah. raise so much mm -hmm. havoc that I'm gonna run. Mm -hmm. Because if you run one time, you will continue to run. Yeah. And that is not what God called mm -hmm. us and anointed us mm -hmm. to do. Send that word. Get up in the morning. Send the word before you. Send the word. Order your day. Order your steps. Holy Spirit, give yourself to him and allow him to be God. Allow him to be Lord in your life. This is the best life you could ever live. This is. If you do it God's way. It, it truly, truly is. And, you know, sometimes we feel yes. defeated. You know, the word of yes. God did say that we're going to have trials and tribulations. Yes. But the word yes. of God says, be of good, good cheer. cheer. Why? Because I have yes. already overcome yes. the world. Do you know that you are an overcomer? Mm -hmm. You know, you are an overcomer. Amen. You can claim your family back. Yes. You can claim your wealth back. Yes. You can claim through the word of God. You can claim everything that the devil has stole from you. And he's definitely stole from you Amen. because the heaven has given you all things oh. pertaining to life yes. and godliness. Heaven has given you joy. Yes. But the enemy wants to steal your joy. I say, I would say to the devil, I want it all back. Yes. I want all it, it all back. That's and it. you know, you can talk to him like that because you have authority yes. through Jesus Christ to claim what's That's yours. Right. If your children were in trouble, you're going to use your authority. Authority to get them out of that trouble. You're going to use your words. You want to use your power. And we can do the same thing with the enemy because our weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are That's mighty right. to God, to the pulling down of strongholds. And we have the authority and the power to do that. And I'm just saying that this is the season where we got to just really be yes. for real. Yes. And we got to be connected to heaven because we can't get it from the earth. We got to be connected to Jesus. And I'm telling you, he is waiting. He is waiting yes, to right. move through you. He is waiting to manifest through you. Take yes, back yes. your authority. Amen. Take it back. Amen. Take it back. Amen. Amen. So often we say, we, we quote the scriptures about being overcomers. And maybe you were just like I was. There was a time I, got, I went through so much. Yes. Hey. I wasn't feeling like no overcomer or nothing. And I began, I started to complain. Because that's what we do. When we get dissatisfied and we don't see the way, what do we do? The first thing we do is we complain. And I began to complain. I said, Lord, I'm tired of going around the same old mountain over and over and over. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me so plain and said, well, well, get it. And I knew exactly what he meant. Get it. It was me. Yes. Get this word. Get it and apply the word and do what the word says. He says, surely, because if you want to be an overcomer, you're going to have to overcome something. All of us are going to have to overcome something. All of us are going to have to do some things we don't want to do. Everything God tells let's pastors, everything God tells us, we don't want to do it. But my love for the Father constrains me. And I do it because of, or out of obedience and my love for him. Yeah. If you don't know Jesus today and you want to be saved and you will have any doubt, if there's any question mark at all in you that you do not know where you are going when you leave this earth, yeah. repent. Yeah. Repentance. So God, I'm so sorry. I messed up everything. That's okay. God, he loves messes. He cleans them up every day. You're looking at two message. messes right here that he cleaned up. <laughs> Ooh, Amen. Jesus. God did it. So I'm just asking you today to humble yourself mm -hmm. and just give yourself to the Lord. Just talk to him like I'm talking to you right now. Asking him to forgive you. Mm -hmm. Save me. To do what you cannot do on your own. Mm -hmm. God loves you. And Pastor Cheryl and I today, we count it a joy to have been blessed to come before you today. 
And our word to you today, for we want to say to each and every one of you that are listening to this broadcast and will listen to it, just remember to do, do the, the right, right thing. thing. Amen. amen. And amen. He I'll loves you. Glory. Amen. Yes, thank you, Father. Amen. This is your girl Vicky Wines, and you're watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. I really don't want to do nothing to displease the Lord, but at the same time, the Lord ain't really helping me right now like I need him to. Listen, Let's get Bobby, on me, my baby. baby. <laughs> you sound so different. You see this one? You see this one? You see this one? Put the mask on, bro. I just felt different.